we still hold stories of the of the creation of the Great Barrier Reef um, thousands of years ago. The reef has been a part of our, our culture, our identity. You know, it's part of us. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's biggest coral reef system. It's about 2,300 kilometres long and up to 250 kilometres wide. So it's roughly the same area as Italy or Japan. It's pretty vast. Well, I think the Great Barrier Reef is the most exciting place in the world. A quarter to a third of all species in the ocean have some part of their life cycle in a coral reef. So they are really the, the hub of the natural world of the oceans. It's just completely unlike any other phenomenon. It's not even like a rainforest on land. It's, it's quite different from anything else in the ocean. Tourism on the Great Barrier Reef is actually worth about $6 billion to the Australian economy every year through direct revenue. Um, indirectly, the Great Barrier Reef is actually worth about uh, $52 billion. Being a snorkel guide, we're out there and um, seeing, seeing the reef every day. You know patches of coral like the back of your hand almost, so any tiny change you tend to see out there. and. The changes that have been happening in the last few years have sort of gone beyond tiny and um, you know seeing seeing the the reef um, decline as it as it has uh, is it's pretty upsetting. In early 2016 there was a bleaching event. In late 2015, we had predicted that event. We'd predicted where it would occur and to what severity using the models. And we were all hoping that the models were wrong, but unfortunately they weren't. Uh, it's one of those times where you'd be happy as a scientist to have gotten it wrong, but the models were pretty much bang on. Bleaching is a stress response by the corals. But most of the colour that a coral has is actually from the microscopic algae that live inside its tissues. So when a coral and its associated algae become heat stressed, the algae die back and instead of looking at the colourful algae, you're looking at the translucent tissue of the coral. So the whiteness is actually the calcium carbonate skeleton underneath the now translucent tissue of the coral. The impacts, the severe stress and the severe bleaching that occurred and the death of corals, the rapid death of corals, particularly in the northern Great Barrier Reef, was basically unprecedented. You can imagine a forest with half its trees dead or dying. You don't need to be a, a botanist to say, wow, this forest is seriously ill. And the same applies to coral reefs. The general consensus, the general view was, we've lost it, it's gone. And for me, it hasn't gone, it's massive. It's one of the biggest ecosystems, it's probably the biggest living ecosystem on the planet. And, um, and it has been hit very hard, but, but there is still time. And, you know, it should be driving action, not apathy. If we don't wake up, if we don't realize that we are living in a very precarious time, things are going to get incredibly seriously bad for our children. We really are the generation that can either lose it or save it. We just need to really pressure our politicians and demand that they move quickly away from coal and embrace renewables. There are 64,000 people whose jobs depend on a healthy Great Barrier Reef. The number one thing is to save those jobs and create new jobs in a clean renewable sector. So now more than ever, it's time for us all to come together to collaboratively focus on the care, management and protection of the Great Barrier Reef. And that care, management and protection will come from all sectors, from the community, starting at the grassroots with the children in the schools, to the global community coming together with a commitment to minimising our carbon footprints, to lose the Great Barrier Reef is unfathomable. It's, it's priceless, it's irreplaceable, and to lose it is, is not an option, not on our watch. As traditional owners, we've always been about custodianship. 
but today you know we share the Great Barrier Reef with the world so now we are all guardians of the Great Barrier Reef. It's part of us, it's part of our identity, and it's connected to everyone on this planet. So it's trying to tell us we must look after it. Let's do it together and let's uh, bring this natural wonder back to how it should be.